you guys. Thanks so much for clicking on my channel. We're all smiles over here. I am Will Sanja. It's like asking a question. Will Sanja help you keep your smile for today? And hopefully the answer is yes, you guys. I'm going to try not to keep it long, but y'all already know. If it gets good, I'm going to keep on talking. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to go to Nugget today is It Ain't Gonna Mix. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It's not going to miss. It ain't going to mix. What am I talking about? When you use God's word, God's word is not going to mix with fear. There's no way God's word can be in the same room with fear. There's no way God's word can be in the same room with doubt. There's no way God's word can be in the same room with anxiety, okay? There's no way. It ain't going to mix. It's like oil and water. It's not. So either you're going to trust God or you're not. Because if you trust in God wholeheartedly, then that means what? There's no delay. There's no resistance. There's no blockage. You're just standing on God's word, which is the what? The truth. And when you stand on God's word, that means you know, K-N-O-W, you know that God has already done what you have requested. Right? And when you know that, that's what you're looking for. To manifest in the what? Physical, because it's already been done in the what? Spiritual realm. But what happens? When you apply fear and you try to mix that in with God's word, you create delay, like I said. And therefore what? You don't see the results. You don't see the manifestation. It's already been done. But because you decide to mix oil and water together, you ain't seeing no results because oil and water does not mix. You can't say I believe and then put on top of that I don't believe. It's either you're going to trust God or you're not going to trust him. And at the end of the day, if you're not going to trust God, that enemy will be in your ear, in your ear, in your head saying, see, God didn't hear you. God wasn't listening to you. God doesn't answer prayer. And all of that is a lie because God says what? Well, he hears you when you pray. Why? Because you're speaking his word. And not only that, God says what? Well, his angels that he has given charge over you hearkens unto the voice of his word. Which means that if you're speaking God's word, then God hears you and he moves upon that thing. It's only when you try to mix oil and water together. His word and doubt together. It's only when you try to mix his word and fear together. It's only when you try to mix his word and anxiety together. When you don't see results. Because those two things, those things don't mix with God. God's word is pure. Which means where it's unadulterated. Which means what? There's nothing that can contaminate it. Nothing can contaminate it. So when you're trying to put in doubt and fear and anxiety and unbelief and insecurity and all this other crazy stuff, and you're trying to put that in with God's word, you're not going to see results because God don't mingle with all that stuff. He said you're either going to trust him or you're not going to trust him. Because oil and water does not mix. Choose today what you're going to do. It's already been done. Your miracle has already been done. Your healing has already been given. Financial blessing has already been given to you. It has. In the spirit realm, God has already done it. He just waiting on you to just trust totally on him, on his word, in his word. And when you do that, you'll see everything that God has already given you in the spirit realm will be manifested here in the physical. Make sure you're not holding on in, onto any doubt or any grudges. Holding on to unforgiveness of what was done to you way back when ago. Because that creates doubt. Ask God to forgive you and most of all, pray for those who did evil against you. That's what God said to do. A lot of times we can't receive our healing or we can't receive what God has already done for us because we are holding on to what people did to us. And God said, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. So that's why you should pray for them and forgive them if they did manner of evil against you. If they did some heebie-jeebie, woo-woo-woo against you, okay? Forgive them. Pray for them. Ask God to bless them. Ask God to bring them until where they're supposed to be with him. That way they won't allow their vessel to be used by the enemy anymore. And when you get into that space where you can forgive those that were used by the enemy, when you can stop holding grudges, when you can stop being jealous, when you can stop saying, woe and poe is me, when you stop doing all that stuff and forgive your enemy and bless them and forgive yourself, mm -hmm, 
When you do that, then you're standing totally on God's word. You're trusting God. Therefore, you're not got anything mixed in the pot with it. Therefore, you just got God all by himself. And he will then what manifest it into your physical. He will. Because he's already done the healing. He's already done the physical, the, the financial blessing. He's already done what? That new house. He's already given you that new house. He's already given you that new car. He's already given you your husband. He's already given you your wife. That child that you want, he's already given it to you. He's already delivered you and set you free. But you got to first choose if you're going to trust him or if you're not. And if I were you, I'll take trust God for 100 addicts. Y'all know this from Jeffrey. I'm going to go. I hope y'all got this. But trust God because oil and water doesn't mix. Truth and untruth doesn't mix. It doesn't. I hope y'all got this. But if you didn't, rewind this thing and watch again. But in the meantime, in between time, if you take just a little bit of what I'm telling you and apply to your life to the best of your ability, you won't ever, 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 ever have to mask a smile. Why? Because your smiles will always be genuine. Be, be blessed. Stay blessed. Be blessed. Stay blessed. Be blessed. Stay blessed. Y'all know what's coming next. Ciao.